There is a place tucked away deep within the folds of the rugged Appalachian Mountains, well known for its caves, mountain lore, and pioneer lifestyles. It is a gorge cut by the south branch of the Potomac River, only 20 miles long, but sided by steep cliffs, nearly vertical in places for over a thousand feet on either side. Access to the canyon is by a single road, with areas only accessible by boat or pack horse. It is an undeveloped place where one can step back to a period of time still very real here. This gorge is better known as Smoke Hole Canyon. It's isolated and remote even by local standards. Smoke Hole Canyon is known as one of the most biologically rich places in the eastern United States, with both rare and endangered plants and animals found nowhere else on the planet. A log church built in 1850 is still used for Sunday worship services in the warmer months. Within the canyon, a pioneer village once thrived, hugging the narrow cliffs, but now no longer exist. Eagle Rock, named after William Eagle, a well-known and noted Revolutionary War patriot, is buried in a lowly and singularly graveyard. Let's journey back. Before the arrival of the first pioneers in the 1750s, the Native American Indians knew the place quite well and were known to defend it. Smoke Hole Cave within the canyon features a beehive-like room, rumored to be the place the Indians smoked their meat. The cave was once a popular hiker and caver destination, but after the historic flood of 1985, its location is practically unknown. In this episode, the Appalachian History Detectives journey down into the Smoke Hole Canyon. We take a look at Eagle Rock, we'll take a look at the Ketterman Grave, and we'll hike up to the Smoke Hole Cave. Join us on this exciting adventure. All right, folks, we are going to hike up to a cave. It's a very, very strenuous hike. It's very steep. I'm not even sure if my kids can make it. They've never been up there, neither one of them. But it's straight up there. And I don't know if you can see how steep this is from the camera. It's but steep. We're, we're going to be climbing here. We're going to be climbing hand over fist on this. You going to try climbing that? Alright. There's a, there might be a trail over here, son. Uh, you guys find that one also. Come over here. Hopefully you can see how steep that just was. We're going to try climbing right here. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Okay, this is going to be interesting here. Bray, you're going to have to help her. All right. Walk on this rock. Yeah, walk on that. Yeah. 
Here's an interesting flyer. Do you guys know what that kind of, what kind of flyer that is? Right, so we gotta go right up through here. Stay with her. Yeah, you can put your foot on that rock. It's not gonna move. Well, so I thought you said the last part was the hard part. You got to go up that way. Oh boy. Okay. You rub you by the belt loop. Pull her up. All right, I got to turn you guys off. Yeah. You want to go up that? Up that, get over there with him. I'm gonna watch you guys go up that. Watch us. Yeah, and then I'm coming afterwards. Okay. Braden, you might have to help her. Climb up and get the All right, we got a long way to go yet. But I want you to see how steep this is. It's hard to determine on a the film. They're straight across. Down there is my truck. How steep is it? 300 foot. <laughs> Alright, so we got a cliff in front of us to get up. The leaves on the side's real steep. And these leaves are about two or three foot thick. With water under it. Uh Right up there, son. Right up there. <sighs> Follow your brother up that way. Brayden, I don't think you can go anywhere from there, son. I think you need to go back this way. I'm going up around. No, I think if you slide, you're going to go all the way down. All the way down there. I'm exhausted. This is going to look flat to you guys. This is straight down. Straight down. Alright son. My son's always wanted to come up to this place. I've always wanted to bring the aqua sugar up here too. I think as soon as he sees this video and the challenge it is for us to get up this mountain. He'll say no way. This mountain's full of artifacts. Here's a seashell right here. Can you see that? They're lying all over the ground here. Just a bunch of these. Here, sweetheart. Hopefully next time I bring you on, you'll see the mouth of the cave. These are columbines. I didn't know what those were before, but I remember my mom telling me there was a columbine. All right, here's one hole into this rock face. And you see it goes way, all the way up. And it is steep. And there is a beehive chamber in there that goes up. And the Indians used to smoke their meat in here. And we're gonna to go to another entrance because we can't climb that rock face to get in there. There's another entrance around here. Sorry about that. I'm bringing up where my face is. We're gonna take you around there. We're gonna go into the cave. We're gonna come into this room. There is a waterfall in here, big waterfall. Whether the water's running right now or not, I don't know. But if it is, you'll see it. Here, here is how steep this rock is. This is a sheer, it's a sheer drop. And, uh, you know, this actually goes up above me, out this way, and there's the hole. Let me turn around. Right there it is. There's where we're going to go, right through there. And that chamber is right up there, so we'll come it's the easiest part. That's what they all say. Yeah, 
Come on, Alina. All right, I gotta go to Ashu. Or through that little crack right there. Rock climbing without the ropes, huh? Yeah, and it's just as steep too. All right. We all have flashlights. Here is the cave. We're gonna go back in there. We all have flashlights. I've been in this cave before. Um, there's a lot of caverns, a lot of passageways. I've explored most of it when I was a kid. Probably my son's age. That's probably about the last time I was up here too. Uh, we're going to take you guys in there. I don't know what it's going to look like being so dark and with our little flashlights. But I'll show you as much as you're willing to stay on here and watch. Okay? Forward hoe. Oh, there's a, there's a, uh, what do they call those? Um, where they have GPS? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That's that other, that's where that other cave hole was. Okay, you guys, you know what this is. There's probably little things in there. You can put your name in it. You can probably drop something off and leave something in there. Geocaching? Geocache. That's a geocache. Oh, that's another entrance. All right. That's another entrance? Yeah, it goes there. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know how well this is going to come out. There's that little hole that I showed you on the other side of the rock. And this is... The beehive room. If you put me in that and you see the whole, me. see the whole way up there. This is about 45 feet or so. And they say the Indians used to smoke their meat right here. And uh, this is a passage that goes down right here. And the wind, the air would be pulled into this to these other tunnels right here, and out right there. And this is the first time my kids have ever seen it. What do you think, kids? I really like it, but I would not recommend coming here because it's a big, far way down. All right, let's go back here. There is a. We're gonna go back up through there. I'm gonna go through And there way. is a uh, waterfall back here. This way. Come on, let's go down this way. We're gonna go that way. There's not been anyone here for a very long time. There's no shoe marks in here. So we need to be really careful. I see animal tracks. Stand up here. It's a narrow hole. I think the waterfall is. So, yep, back in there. Okay. I'm going to turn you guys off for a little bit. All right, I'm going to show you. This is another, this is another passageway in the cave. And uh, I've been down there many, many years ago. It goes back this way to the right and it goes way back into the mountain. But we're going to go this way. All right. Look down there. That thing goes like 200 feet back. Yeah, there's a look right there, son. There's another passage. Look. Look at that. You think the chig would like to come here? You guys want me to get the chig to come here? I tried to get him here this trip. But uh, he's been away. He's been away on another trip. And he couldn't make it on this trip. But I want to... You guys let him know if you want him to come on this. Alright. We gotta go back. There's probably 400 more passages back there, but there's plenty of this one. Wait, that everybody... Alright, hold on. Why did the last one dry out? Look, right, go that way. There's two. Raccoon. This is, uh, uh, yeah, no, back. If you go to the right, the waterfall's over here on the right somewhere. Yeah, 
can't I'm surprised I can't even hear it. I don't want to fall down there. I don't know. I don't see it. I think it's straight up. <laughs> it's not, son. Look straight up. All right, we're going to go back that way, right there. I'm not, I'm not going to be stuck in here forever because I would not like that. There's where Braden was, right down there. Yeah, I was down there. I hear the waterfall. This is it. All right, guys. Yep. Yeah. I hear the waterfall. It's right back here. Okay. All right, come on. I don't know if you guys can see back in there. We are going this way. And there is. Dad, shine the light right there. Shine the light right there. My son sees the waterfall. Shine the light. Where this little spring right here. There's a like, little lake. This is only about three foot tall. Here. It's over here to the right. It's on down here. Yeah. All right. You're good, Ed. We'll, we'll call him again. All right. Here it is. Here's the waterfall. Can you see how far down? That's about 10 feet down. And it falls from way up there. Can you see the water coming in? It falls down there. Look at that. I wonder what that is. Look at that. That rock sticking out like that. Yeah, that's the waterfall. This is the waterfall. Now, when I was a kid, we'd get down in there, we'd get all wet because we'd come in here in the summertime and it'd be so hot. But we're way back in the mountain and it goes way on that way. But I'm not taking my kids that way, not without professionals because I've been that way. I just wanted to bring them in here to show them this. And we're going to go back on out. What do you guys think? Crazy, aren't we? All right, we're gonna go in and go to the right, I believe. All right. You wanna go left? Wait. All right. Alright guys, you saw it, we did it. If you look out there, way down there you'll see the river. And you'll see how steep it was to get up in here. Hello folks, um, I thought I'd stop by a landmark here in the Smoke Hole Canyon where there is a rock formation, but this is a huge rock in uh it's right here this is just one edge of it the front side's flat and it's really big and uh whether it's true or not i don't know but they say back and during the revolutionary war times um and maybe it was civil war it was one of them i was told this when i was a kid you know how those kind of stories are anyway there was a soldier on top of these rocks, 
firing down at the soldiers that was walking on this narrow path down in here. Like I said, it's very narrow, it's curvy. Um, I could see how it would, they would be very constrained uh, coming in here or they could not uh, get away from his uh, fire. And there is a grave right here. William Eagle, he fought in the Revolutionary War. He was 15 years old when he served. Or here's where he's buried. You can see all the coins and the quarters and the money that people have left here for him. It's pretty cool, isn't it? He's not the only, only one down in here. There's another grave, another pioneer grave further down. I'll stop there. Um, I'll get a, a picture and I'll give you some of the rundown on that. All right, I'm going to bring you guys to the second tombstone. Okay, it is, it says R.U.D. Rudd W.E. Cutterman, 1850 to 1924. 1850 to 1924. And there used to be a Pioneer's Cabin down here. And it was known as the Cutterman ca uh, Cabin. And this is where he's buried. And the flood of 1985 washed it out. So the cabin no longer exists. And it's down here in this canyon. I don't know how he got down in here, honestly. Um, maybe a canoe. This road, this road coming down in here is very, very narrow. It's only one lane. And when you meet another car, you got to get clear off the road. I don't, I don't know how the pioneers got down here, honestly. But I, I'm going to end it right here. So I hope you guys had a great time. Join me on the next episode, and uh, we'll see you guys later.